Do you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blinding. The shadows betray you because they belong to me. Those days that you don't want to do anything? Were you too tired, too sore? You just don't feel like it? Those days? Those are the days that count. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. If you've got something to do, don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. Everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen, no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. You're your biggest problem. Everything is external that moves you. Now I want you to start moving yourself internally. I want you to be able to push your buttons and not let anything else push your buttons. You gotta move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nobody control your mood, you control your mood. You control your feelings. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what, including today. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it. Today! I woke up one day and stopped making excuses. I woke up one day and stopped playing the blame game. I woke up one day and looked at the man in the mirror and was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Wake up, it's showtime, let's go. Get up, go to class, get up, do your homework, work on your gift. It was given to you, but you gotta hone it. And the reason why some of you are not where you're supposed to be, you've given yourself an option. You've given yourself an out. You've given yourself an excuse, but you have what it takes to do it. And the problem with some of you in this room, you don't have no drive. You ain't got nothing pushing you. You have no reason. You better find one before you get out of here today. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, they ain't happen. You gotta get real doggish. You gotta get downright funky if you wanna make it. If you wanna be ordinary, you ain't even gotta listen to me. Just go on about your business. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Push through pain enough and there's glory on the other side of it. But you gotta get through it. I realized I was on the right path because it stopped being easy. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm tired as fuck, but I'm not gonna complain because I asked for this shit. So I'm gonna smile with tired fucking eyes and realize that everything I'm doing on a daily basis is for a fucking reason. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we wanna give this to you. You're such a nice person. You're doing it for your family, aren't you? Great. No, no, life isn't like that. But that's how people look at success. They look at it like you do a few things. I 
fucking ate right for three days. Why am I not a fucking fitness model? I did my tasks that I needed to do. I sent five emails. I called 10 people. Why am I not running a $10 million company? Because they don't understand what mastering the monotonous means. It means doing the sh- that most people are too fucking undisciplined to do day in and day out with perfection. Doing it better than everybody else. Doing it to the best of your ability. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be relentless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Effort is isolated. The reason why effort is isolated because nobody can dictate it. Because that's all about you. Effort is 100% in the mind. That's what wins championships. That's what wins battles. Massachusetts, you're an adult now. You're not kids no more. Do it. Girlfriend or no girlfriend. Do it. Tired or not tired. Do it. You said you was going to do it out your mouth. You're a man now. And a man is only as good as his word, not his emotions. Your emotions don't win championships. So whatever's going to cause you not to be your best, stop it. It's going to be a fight. At some point, you got to go take the life out of it. You got to take that thing out. Like, you got to take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math. Go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You got to go get it. No one's coming to lift the weights for you. No one's coming to study for you. No one's coming to put in the hours for you. No one's coming to do all the hard work for you. You have to do it yourself. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. If you want to live a happy, healthy, successful life, you've got to pick to go through the pain now and enjoy the peace later. Do not fall victim to the short-term gratification that is whispering in your ear, telling you five more minutes is fine. You can sleep in. You can eat that just this once. You can take the day off. You deserve to take a break. Shut that voice down. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. Your habits are the building blocks of your life. It's what you do every single day that matters more than anything. Doing things that are a break from your routine are going to require force. So you have to force yourself to be uncomfortable. Decide you'll do it no matter what. Commit yourself to the regime. You get up when you're supposed to get up. You study when you're supposed to study. You go to the gym when you're supposed to go to the gym. You work when you're supposed to work. You do whatever it is you told yourself you were going to do long after the mood you set it in is left. If you don't control your mind and your mind controls you, you're fucked. You got to take control and tell your brain where you want to go and what you want to do. Because if you don't, you will always be a loser. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every day of the fucking week. The problem with some of you, you just hope that good stuff is going to happen to you. You got to get up and make shit happen. You guys don't have unlimited time here. The world isn't going to stop and time isn't going to stop. Guess what? That's the way life is. You don't have enough time. You got to make time. Those at the top who become the best, they don't let too many terrible days create negative momentum for themselves. They're obsessed about stacking great productive days back to back to back to back because they know if you do that, the level of momentum created after a year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years of doing this becomes so massive that you start creating automatic wins based on your daily routines. Because it's not easy for you to continuously have a packed schedule day after day after day after day after day without you winning. All in is not 50%. All in is not 60 hours a week. All in is not I worked a Saturday twice a month. All in is not I missed one birthday party. All in is all f***ing in. You better learn to get really, really used to being uncomfortable because nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Everything worthwhile, everything that matters, everything that is great comes from being in a position of uncomfortable. Nothing Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. Nothing worthwhile can you get by not being uncomfortable. Everything's going to make you uncomfortable. Get fucking used to it. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your fucking limits are non-existent. Take control of your feeling. Take control of your emotions. Take control of your job. Take control of your problems. Take control of your future. And take control of your life. As we begin to look at what we want, 
As we begin to look toward the future, what's going to be crucial for you is every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, you've got to affirm to yourself, hey, hey, no, 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 I can make it. This can happen for me. You've got powers within you, talents within you that you haven't even reached for yet. Now, whatever goal you have, here's what we know. You're going to have some opposition. You're going to have some difficulties. You're going to have some challenges. Long journey, long dark night. But when you hold on to your dream, don't let anybody kill it in you. Just hold on to that dream. When it doesn't make sense to anybody, including you sometimes, just hold on. Once you give yourself an opportunity to try and to stretch, you'll find out you can do more than you can ever begin to imagine. The first level to success in life, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. You know exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looked like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? The problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. I ain't putting my dream on nobody else, and I don't care what nobody think about my doggone dream. This is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. It's necessary that you be patient. It's necessary that you take a stand, that you dig in. It's necessary to know there are going to be some difficult times. I know I'm going to have to take some blow. Find out how strong I am. Can I stand up? I know I'm going to experience some rejection and disappointment. I know there are going to be some hard decisions to make. The things are going to be so uncertain that I'm going to feel overwhelmed and feel like I can't handle it. I know, I know I'm going to experience all of that. Why? It's necessary. It's a part of life. It's called life. All of that will create you to a certain kind of that as you go through that experience, what you become in the process, that you'll discover a part of you that, that you did not know was there. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. Somebody gave you a guarantee, 30 day guarantee. In 30 days, if you don't make what they told you was gonna make, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. You keep saying you ain't on the next level because the economy. You keep saying you ain't in the next level because it ain't the season. You keep saying you ain't in the next level because the opportunity ain't there. The truth of the matter is that you ain't there because you ain't there. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. And there's some of you, you know what you want, but you are not personally willing to do the work it takes to get it. What you're trying to do is do what you've done on this level and get the next level. You like, I'm getting up every day. I'm putting in two and a half. I'm putting in three and I'm not getting the opportunity. The opportunity might require getting up and working out three and a half. It might require you saying no to your friends. It might require you changing your diet. It might require you moving to another city. Whatever it takes, you gotta be willing to do it. And you keep saying you're not there because of something else because it's easier to blame somebody else. That's the problem with some of you. You always wanna hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more alcohol, no more, no, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. We're tired of this 60% you. We're tired of this crying you, this complaining you. We tired of this furniture. Greatness is in you. You are here. You here. Leave your dog on mark. You here. Do something. So whatever you gotta do, you do it. And there are those of you who were this close, but you compromised. You let your feelings get the best of you. It's time for you to cut average. It's time for you to cut good so you can finally get to great. There are no excuses. You cannot cheat success. You gotta work for it. You got to breathe it, you got to sleep it, you got to eat it, you got to put forth 120%.
I didn't get here making excuses. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. It only takes one extra push-up. It only takes one extra mile. It only takes one extra grade. It only takes one extra effort. It only takes one extra extra something to get you to where you're trying to get to. And the goal is, you gotta go a little further than the man who's trying to get what you're trying to get. And can't nobody stop me but me. I wanna remind y'all of the power of the mind. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration. But if you change your mind, it'll change your life. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. You just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through. As we begin to look at what we want, what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future. And every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself and you've got to affirm to yourself in the process hey 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 no 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 I can make it there's some way this can happen for me it's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle what if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be you got to say yes to your life you've got to say yes yes to my dreams yes to me I can make it yes I can doesn't matter how many failures I've made doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes. Yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you. That you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There is no mistake that you can't rebound from. There is no mistake that you can't get back up from. You let it be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for your dream. You're willing to realize that you will fail your way to success. You're willing to make it okay if people don't like you or disagree with you. You're willing to fight even though the odds are stacked against you. You are willing to have a spirit of optimism when you've lost everything materialistically. But if you got a pulse, if you woke up this morning, you, when you're a warrior you're willing to fight everyone likes that warm bed everyone needs just five more minutes of slumber in the morning so they hit snooze they roll over they go back to sleep every day you say no to your dreams you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months a whole year that one single day that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back i don't know how long are those 15 minutes that sweet that you're gonna push back your dream that you're gonna push back your goal you are where you are because of your feeling you not on principles right now that's not what drives you you would be a millionaire right now if you stop going back to bed yeah you got the mentor yeah you got the book so what the books can't make you get your foot up but what can is your principles and your problem is either you ain't got none or you ain't living by the ones you have and some of you there are things you like you have absolutely no control you are like a slave to you you are a slave to your personality you are a slave to some of your vices you are a slave to some of the things you like you are a slave you have absolutely no control and what i'm telling you is the reason why we fast from time to time
God is not that we have to fast, but at some point you got to fast because you got to tell the flesh who's in control. I'm in control. You're not in control. I know you don't want to wake up. You don't have an option. Get up. We trying to eat. So many of you know damn good and well deep down you have no excuse. You need to stop this whining, this crying all the damn time and get up and do something about it. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your fucking feelings. You want to sit there and bitch whine and cry about your goddamn feelings all the time. Fuck your feelings. Get up and do something about it. Your problem is if it's great, if the conditions are great, you great. If the conditions are bad and all of a sudden you're giving me 20%, 30%. At some point, you're going to have to learn to be disciplined. You're going to have to learn if you say you're going to wake up at 8 o'clock, you're going to get up at 8 o'clock no matter how you feel. You got to wake up every day and you got to go get it. Why? Because if you don't hunt, you don't eat. Are you the kind of person that can draw the line in the sand? Are you the kind of person who can say this is enough? Are you the kind of person who says I am fucking done with that and I'm going to become what it is I know I can become? And we want that change more than we want that pizza, more than we want that cigarette. We want the fucking change more than the sacrifice we're going to make to get it. That's the difference between winners and losers. You might be smarter. Your family might come from privilege. Your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. This top spot is number one. That's mine. Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The more effort you're gonna have to put in. You know how hard I work to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earn every dime I get. I work for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. You got to kill. What's going to separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always going to give it my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're going to score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're going to have. You can't dictate how your body is going to respond to moving around, but you can dictate your effort. Your dream comes when you push. And I'm like, give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's a lie. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So Push. Just push past the play. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I got to take it. And I got to take it to another level. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Go on that dog on classroom. Compete. You not giving one. 20, you given 70, you given 60, you given 50, and you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they pay for, and it ain't free. You might be bigger than me, you might be faster than me, you might be stronger than me, but you will not outwork me. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you need. It's within you, and the people that have risen to that level will know different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. I want to introduce y'all to this very simple concept. It's a very simple concept. If you want it, you gotta go get it. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. 
Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you gonna fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. You do the work now. And all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole other stratosphere. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. It's an indication of progress towards our dreams. Dreams require sacrifices. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to fucking believe for your fucking dream. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. If you can't stick to something for five fucking days, you deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve to get your ass kicked. You deserve to be miserable. We're talking about five fucking days. We're not talking about 50 years. We're not talking about the five years it probably takes to build something worthwhile. We're not talking about the five months it could take for you to lose 100 pounds. We're talking about five fucking days. And you can't even stick to it for that. So what the f do you think you deserve? You deserve exactly what you want. And that's the truth. That's the things your friends won't tell you. When you're bitching and moaning about how your life sucks on Friday night, drinking a fucking brewski with your boys. That's the sh your mom won't tell you when you're sitting in your mom's basement playing fucking video games, when you should be reading or improving or working out or doing something. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how frustrated or pissed or angry or depressed or upset you are. All that matters is that you do what needs to be done on a daily basis over and over and over again. And if you do that sh and it gets done, it's irrelevant how you feel. And I can tell you this, if you do that sh for long enough, you're going to feel a lot fucking better about your life than you do right now. If you've ever had a moment in your life that you have measured yourself and come up short, if you've ever poured yourself into an individual, a company, a place or thing and didn't get the results you expected, then this one is for you. It's hard. It's hard changing your life. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. It takes a lot of gut to get up. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You ought to talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. No guts, no glory. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. You have to remind yourself of how badass you really are. You take one second when your mind and your body are saying we're done. We need to quit. You gotta remind yourself, hang on a second. I've overcome a hell of a lot more than this. And I have the strength to persevere, to move on, to not settle for what's in front of me. It's gonna be a dog fight. I would love to tell you that on the road to success, everything is gonna work out. It's not. It's a dog fight. It's hard. But I made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit. And you can't defeat me. If you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. If you're ready to quit, then don't get started. If you're looking for this easy path, don't get started. If you think they're not going to close the door on you and say no a million times, don't get started. But every time they close the door, I just get excited. Why? Because I am not a no. I'm one yes away. You can't keep telling me no forever. You can't keep denying me forever. You can't stop it. I'm not trying to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get it together. I'm getting ready to do something so radical and so massive I'm gonna turn the whole thing 180 degrees you got just enough strength left you got just enough time left you got just enough energy left to make one big turn so when people ask you say how you doing even if you having some difficult times say I'm blessed and highly favored because
because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, it's achieving more. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, that you have the vision and never give it up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. And when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. So I'll hear people say, if you believe it, then you can achieve it. And the problem with that is they're leaving out the most important part of the equation. And that part is work, action, actually doing something. That's what you have to do to achieve anything. Yeah, you gotta believe it, but you better get the work done. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're gonna quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they wanna keep going to get to go. Because you're gonna wake up most days and not feel like it. You're gonna wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're gonna wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being. Things that you know are going to improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are going to make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Get up early. Do some kind of workout. Eat good foods. Clean your room. Make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life and then wake up in the morning and do those things. And no, it is not easy. You're not going to get it from anyone else but you. You think things are going to just go your way? Well, they're not going to just go your way. You got to make them go your way. You think things are going to just happen for you? Well, they're not just going to happen for you. You gotta make them happen. Everyone seems to think that this world, this government, somebody owes them something. Nobody owes you shit. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and take it. That's all there is to it. You need to stop this whining, this crying all the damn time, and get up and do something about it. And the biggest thing I see getting in the way is your fucking feelings. F*** your feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. When you've got air in your lungs, then you have no excuse. It's just a matter of perspective. You're either gonna be a fucking sheep, or you're gonna be a line. You're gonna be an attacker and a go-getter. But if you wanna sit there and cry, bitch, and moan and whine all the fucking time, well, you can't, 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 then you sit your ass on that bench with the loser. And you stay there, but don't expect me to turn around and pat you on the back and say hey good job for being a fucking quitter Get up and do something about it people who win can do sh and people who lose talk sh You can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do them It's the hidden work and look at it as like a rock and that rock is you and every day you fight not wanting to get up and you do anyway you chip another piece off that fucking rock and every day you go to train you train harder and harder and harder and harder and you get up earlier and all these things you do to start forming yourself you're chipping another piece of that rock up before you know it that rock it becomes the masterpiece in which you fucking created the heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on it doesn't go on and off when someone's watching it's constant it's how you look at something if your name's attached to it that you do it right the best of your ability every single time do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Same mother It's what I did in the dark that blew me up. It is in practicing. It is in lifting weights. It is in resting. It is in eating right. It is in making good decisions that you look a certain way. It is how you practice. It is what you do that makes you look like you look. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you put in those extra reps. When you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired. When you change your music. It's the process that makes you sweet. I'm talking about the commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. You gotta begin with the end in mind, so whatever your dream or your goal is, you gotta wake up every day to it. You gotta go to bed with it. You gotta read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, gotta pour into that dream. I understand it is in a process that you get better. I am not phenomenally skilled, but I'm phenomenally will. My IQ may never change, but my will changes every year. I get stronger and stronger and more determined. Why? Because it's in my DNA. When you dedicate your life, you don't care anything about the odds. 
when the dream is big enough, the odds don't matter. Giving you all, it can be confusing to mediocre people. When they talk shit, you keep grinding. Work hard in silence and let your success speak for you. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with his success. Build the kind of life that says I told you so without having to say a fucking word. While most people stop when they're tired, I stop when I'm done. The only thing limiting your horizons is you. At some point, if you live in this life, you're going to face disappointment. You're going to face defeat. You're going to face devastation. Some bad things going to happen to you. That's life. You're going to get some setbacks. You're going to lose some loved ones. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. At some time, you are going to get tired. At some time, you're going to get in a rut. Seem like nothing you do works out right. At some times, it just seems like you just don't have the wherewithal or the will to do anything. And depressed, feeling powerless, feeling useless. What do you do? How do you get yourself out of a rut? How do you, when you know you can do more than what you've been doing and you're not doing it and you're discontent with where you are, you get angry at yourself. We have all these new thoughts that come about. You start saying to yourself, I'm so alone. Nobody understands me. Nobody gets me. I'm the only one to ever go through something like this. I'm a mess up. I'm a failure. I'd be better off not being here. Nobody would miss me. I'm all alone right now. Why would anybody care if I was gone? Here I am. I'm just alone. We just keep feeding ourselves this toxic thinking. And literally what I've learned in these moments of anxiety is that I have to stop listening to myself and I have to start talking to myself. I'm like, Rich, you're great. I'm like, look in the mirror, like, you can do this. Rich, you can handle this. Rich, this is not a big deal. Rich, this is gonna pass. You're amazing. Rich, this too shall pass. You've got to find ways to increase your sense of self-appreciation because if you don't, you're bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down and you will find yourself unconsciously engage in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? I am sick and tired of people coming to me saying that they had a setback. It is a part. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain. And you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. Let me tell you something. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. If you're tired of starting over, stop quitting. If your life at times feels like, looks like labor, you are doing it right. Keep on pushing. I'm telling you what, there is breakthrough coming. And when you're holding your prize, the pain and the suffering will pale in comparison. Don't give up. It will be worth it. Life is 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react. You're gonna need some energy. You're gonna need something that's so powerful. You're gonna need something with real life happen. You're gonna need some energy that can get you going and get you through this. And I'm telling you, the way to ignite the dream is you gotta shut out every single thing and you gotta believe I am the greatest. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you weren't ready. But if you stay ready and you stay plugged up, when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you gotta think about the people in your life that you doing this for. And then if you could think about them, you could go one more mile. You will go one more day at work. So the days I wanna hit that alarm clock, I think about my why. I can't stop, I can't get tired, I can't give up, I can't give in. My mama counting on me, my wife is counting on me, listen to me. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you gotta find something within. Success, guys, a very, very lonely road, man. Very few people are willing to endure pain, the sacrifice, the due diligence to be successful. It's an uphill battle. Along that road, you're not going to see too many friends. You're going to see your shadow most often. 
when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. It's a lonely feeling. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? There will be times when you will feel alone and you will feel deserted when you feel weak and you doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? People are going to think you're crazy and sometimes you're going to think you're crazy. You're going to question yourself. It's hard to pick yourself up when you experience setbacks and people don't see the vision. And no one else believes in you. That's going to happen. But we all have a choice. The choice is you can let the outside Outside noise affect you or drive you? What's it gonna be? There's been so many times in our lives where people tell you you can't do something. Where would you be if every single time someone told you you can't do something, you listen to them? Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. So a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. It takes guts. You gotta dig down deep to gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible. You've gotta ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal. If nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it. You can be it. You can do it. Judge not according to appearances. Don't judge your circumstances and the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now and because of what's going on now. No, 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 no. You must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. And for some of you, you stop drinking. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month and when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, when people tell you can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. Success doesn't know these things about cold or early or tired. It just knows if you showed up or not. Isn't it about time you become that person you knew you always could be? How do you do that? You break the fucking mold, guys. You get the f out of bed when it's cold, when it's early. You do something away from the normality of what you've been doing. Why not try it, man? You can't talk it all the time. You gotta walk it. Commit to one day. Try it. See how it feels. Getting up that f***ing early when everyone else is asleep. Or when it's that cold. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable. We shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker. I'm gonna introduce myself to it. You do a little extra effort here. You take whatever's normal and you do a little extra to it. That's what makes it extraordinary. What's that extra? The extra rep. Getting up at an extra half hour earlier. Those little extras combined to a word called extra with ordinary together to make extraordinary. Stop going about the day as a servant. Become the master. Run your day and stop having it run you. Believe in yourself. You got one of a hundred has a belief. Instead of just in jaw jet talk of intent. Huge differential there. Differential is somebody just believing life. And the other one taking the most of the opportunity to be in the line of life. Remembrance. Otherwise, forgotten. You have to realize that one day your life is going to flash before you. And the credits are going to roll. And it's going to be two options. It's going to say, oh, sh it's too late. Or it's going to say, yeah, I kicked ass. And that's the bottom line. So when they bury you, is your tombstone going to say, what might have been? Or is your tombstone going to say, hell yeah, I killed him. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice. No, do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. And maybe you've been knocked down in your life and it seems like, hey, the fight is over. It is not over unless you quit. And so here's what I say to you. There are going to be times that you're going to be wondering, why should I keep showing up and working my business? Why should I keep at it? Why should I keep showing up to the conventions? Why should I keep picking up the phones and making the phone calls? Why should I keep fighting for my goals and fighting for my dreams? And what I want to remind you is that you got to show up for your life regardless of the circumstances. You got to show up in spite of the naysayers. You got to show up in spite of the conversation going on in your mind. You got to show up for your life. Because if you don't, nobody else will. Fight your way through this battle. Your greatness comes from within. And once you realize that, nothing will stop you. Nothing will keep you from being great.
It's already there. You just have to feel it and know that you were placed here for a reason. Fight your way through it. Fight your way through this battle. Fight your way through that academic struggle. Fight your way through divorce. Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You got this far. If you was going to quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit. Nah, you need to get a reward for it. I know you may be hurting, but just know after this battle, you will come out on the better side. You have to see it. You have to feel it. You have to know that this life was made for many battles, and you were made just for a time like this. Some will choose to go back. They turn their power down and they have defeated themselves and their minds and say, I can't do it. And there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This kind of person refuses to be denied. This person doesn't care about the pain. This person comes back again and again and again. And if you keep on, hit that wall. Here's what happens to you, that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. As you're working times with tears falling down your face, and you look back on the times and you will cherish those times. As you do that, as you go through that, when you come through, ladies and gentlemen, when you come through that valley, when you come through that fight, there'll be a look in your eyes that everybody will know this is a different person here. The harder the challenge, the greater the growth. Your problem, it might not make any sense, and your pain might not make any sense and your circumstance might be illogical but listen to me if your life at times feels like looks like labor you are doing it right keep on pushing there is breakthrough coming and when you're holding your prize the pain and the suffering will pale in comparison don't give up it will be worth it life is 10% what happens to you 90% how you react and I'm telling you the way to ignite the dream is you gotta shut out every single thing and you gotta believe I am the greatest and so life normally breaks you because when it hits you you wasn't ready but if you stay ready and you stay plugged up when you hear bad news it don't break you because you already energized today might not be the day but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain if you're gonna be successful in this game you gotta have a dog within you you gotta know it's a dog fight and you gotta go get that fight life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more. When it's over. When they're tired. When they're frustrated. When they're ready to give up. When they spent their last dime. That's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money. When all your energy gone. When you have nothing left. That's when it's showtime. When you find the way out of no way. When you find breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe that's when you find a way you meet somebody wealthy their family at one point was not wealthy and then the one shows up the one one person changes the family tree forever in my family i'm the one and it wasn't because i wanted it or i hoped for it i fought for it i want to win I want to fight for my family. I want my mom and dad proud of me. I want my kids proud of me. I want me proud of me. I want to look in the mirror and be happy with the man I look back at. That he gave it everything. That he went for it. But here's the truth. Most people's dreams can be bought. With enough failure, with enough rejection, they will sell their dreams. They can't still fight. They can get a little bit, but when it gets a little too hot, they go, boom, sold. Buy the dream. You can have it. It's not worth it to me. And their will to win is buyable. You can buy it. But if you decide my will cannot be bought, I don't care how long it takes, you can't buy this dude out. I'll keep fighting for my family. I'm the one. I'm going to change my family. What time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. Right now, we have the most valuable asset on earth on our side, time. But it's running out. And to make that first step towards greatness is the hardest step. And you're going to have to fight and fight, fight, fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you long enough to get to your new you. Because let's face it, when the alarm goes off, you got your head on that soft pillow. It's all nice and cozy and warm in there. You do not feel like getting up. You should not. That snooze alarm is the dream killer. When you press that snooze button, you're killing your dreams. Every single day when you wake up, you got two options. You can look at the clock and hit the snooze. You can look at that snooze button, boom. You can hit the snooze button and go back to bed and dream about what you want to have. Or 
You can look at that snooze button, kick that clock, and get up and go pursue your dreams. So easy. So easy to put things off. So easy to say you're going to do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. If you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. No more excuses. No more hesitation. No more procrastination. No more negotiation. No more. Go on the attack. You don't stop until it's done. Don't expect front row seats if you're giving those bleed effort. Everybody want to win. Everybody want to be on the winning team. Everybody want to win, but everybody don't want to work. Everybody want the reward, but everybody don't want to work. We all got to work. I got to show up and show up 120. Every time where much is given, much is required, but you're going to get the reward. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in a dictionary. We're not going to wait. We're going to do work. We're going to put in work because every time you put in work you get the same consequences you get paid you get rewarded discipline is you do it so long and so hard and you're so passionate about it that even when you don't feel like it you still operate at the highest level beast mode is i will not stop when others stop i will not quit when it gets hard i will not complain i will not worry i will not fret i will find a way when there is no way i will make a door when there is no door i will create a window when there is no window. I will create finance when there is no finance. I will find an opportunity when it doesn't exist. I will not be defeated because I know what my desires are and I know what I deserve. The reason why you stop and you start and you stop and you start is because the goal is not meaningful enough. You don't have enough skin in it. You don't have nothing to lose if you don't do it. What I'm telling you is you got to create the type of scenario that if it doesn't work, you lose everything. And because you cannot lose everything, you got to make it happen. If you just decide, I'm going to keep my word. If I say something, I'm going to do it regardless. Being more considerate, more trusting, more disciplined. You owe it to yourself to give it your best effort. If you get in the habit of being mediocre or doing just enough to get by, you're not hurting anybody but you. You're cheating you. If you follow it through, if you keep your commitment to the commitment, you'll feel strong and powerful. That kind of commitment, that kind of spirit, that kind of personal power, that kind of vision is in you. Decide to be better. Decide Decide to get better. Decide to get after it. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing instead of executing on your own opportunities, you are setting yourself up to fail time and time again. And this goes against what society is, right? Society is all about gossip. It's all about talk. It's all about who's doing what. And it's never about worrying about what you're doing. Go to a fucking bar. What's everybody talk about? What their company's doing, what their boss is doing, what their coworkers are doing, what their aunt's doing, what their mom's doing, what their dad's doing. Nobody fucking cares and it doesn't fucking matter. That's why you don't see successful people hanging out with people like that. Because they worry about their own sh- they worry about their own actions, they worry about what they execute on, and they worry about how they can get better at it. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. King, and that other stuff will take care of itself. And let me tell you something. I don't know if I'm number one or not, and I won't know. I won't go look at that list. Why? Because I'm too busy grinding. And some of you should be busy practicing, and you're staring at yourself in the mirror. And many of you cannot get to your level of success. You cannot get to dominance because you are worried about everything that's coming in your ear, guys. You got to learn to kill the noise. Who cares what they say? Dominance. Who cares what they think? Dominance. Listen to me. Nothing succeeds like success. You want to kill your haters? You want to shut them down? You want to kill the noise? Nothing succeeds like success. And I'm telling you, if you can learn to kill the noise and dominate your space, your lane, stay in your lane and dominate your lane, I'm telling you, not only will you compete, not only will you dominate, but you, my friend, will leave a dynasty. I dare you to dominate. I challenge you to find your space, stay in your space, and create something in your space that has never been created before. Control your lane. I dare you to believe in your uniqueness. I dare you to believe in you. I dare you to stand up for yourself. I dare you to dominate your space, your world, and to leave a legacy.